Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate LibreOffice Calc with a database that you've set up in LibreOffice Base, uh, and basically bring some of your table information into LibreOffice Calc for display and usage, uh, I mean with your LibreOffice Calc formulas or just whatever you want to do with the data. So in order to add in information, we're generally going to want to use what's called a pivot table, which you can insert up here in the main toolbar next to chart, or you can go to the insert menu and pick pivot table. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to select a source. Uh, generally with outside data sources, you're going to have already registered that in LibreOffice base. So choose data source registered in LibreOffice. If you haven't already registered a, uh, a uh, data source, I'll have a link to a video in the description where I show you how to set that up. Now here I'm going to select the database, WordPress test. Uh, just to note, it's a MySQL database. The type of selection, we're going to stick with table because we don't want to write uh, custom queries or anything like that. We're just going to basically grab table fields and then it's going to automatically grab the different items that are in that particular table for us for display and usage in LibreOffice Calc. And uh, for data source, we just have to select a table. I'm going to go with WP terms because I know that there's some information in there. Go ahead, hit OK, and you'll be given this pivot table layout. There's uh, several ways you can set up information here, but the simplest way and perhaps arguably the most useful way in my mind is to add them to row fields because that will make each of these available fields uh, become a column. Uh, in a new table, the pivot table, that will display each item and all of the corresponding information uh, for each of those fields. So here I'm just bringing over all four of the fields to row fields so that these are the four that are going to display. I'll hit OK and it will immediately create a new sheet in LibreOffice Calc called pivot table underscore sheet one underscore one or something of that nature. And as you can see, it pulled in all the information from the database for each uh, item in the database. And we've got the term ID, we've got uh, the name of that term, and we have the slug, or basically the URL friendly uh, way of writing that term. And then term group is, uh, I have no idea what that is, but it's another field in the database in any case. So now with this information that's been brought in from that MySQL database, uh, we have, we're basically free to do whatever we want with, select this as a target for formulas, uh, or just have this output in a document that we may be sharing with some other people. So that's the basic idea of adding a pivot table into LibreOffice Calc in order to have some database interaction. I've been Chris, I hope you found this video useful. If it was, uh, consider donating to my Patreon, and I'll see you in my next video.